Hi, in this session we will see how to create a macro and but why would you want to write a macro? So there are some repetitive tasks that you have to do. In that case you can use the help of macro. So let's do understand it using this example. Say I have this data and every month I have to do certain repetitive tasks on it. So the customer name I have to always you know break it into two parts that is first name and second name and then have to highlight this balanced view which is greater than zero. So how I can do it using macro. So for writing a macro first you need to uh, turn on the developer tab. So how you do it you go to file in file you have options and under options there is customize ribbon where you click on developer so after doing that i get this developer tab here now to write a macro i go to developer tab and now i can record a macro please remember that whatever steps you are going to do will be recorded so whatever clip you are going to do from now once you click on record macro that's going to be get recorded so you say record macro so macro name is say macro 2 you can't put any space here shortcut key i give as control shift a and i'm not giving any description here so this is so but this is already a macro assigned um, to that key you should assign a different keyboard shortcut so i can change it let me change it to control m and that's macro 2 and okay so now i have the macro is recording uh, what i have to do is i need to insert one column and select this and i have to in data tab i have to convert from text to columns and uh, how do i space it and here's the text to column and so this is the first name and this one is second name now what i want is i want to make all these bold oh, this is bold and all this i want to do conditional formatting say i want to highlight all those which has value greater than zero okay so this is a task that i have done using macro now i can stop the recording let's go back control z control z control z and come to that default now if i type control shift a sorry control shift m because that was the um, shortcut that assigned to this so control shift m so i get uh, micro enabled formatting whatever i wanted to do but in case i don't want to use control shift m then i what i can do is i can insert a button here so this is the button that i can insert and say i uh, connected with macro 2 so i connect it with macro 2 and here is the button so as i click on this button uh, I, i'll get the all the changes or all the things that i want to do using a macro so once i click it i get all the changes that is the first name and second name in separate columns and all those which are uh, greater than zero should be highlighted in pink so that was all on macro thank you